Hi, so I'm going to demonstrate here creating the sites and site administrators. So I am going to log in as the server admin here. And you'll notice when I log in, by default, once you do the installation of the Tableau server, it will create a default site for you. Now a site is a container for a bunch of projects and within the projects it will contain workbooks and within the workbooks it will contain views and data sources. So. Uh, that is the actual hierarchy is sites, projects, workbooks, views, and data sources. And so you'll notice here that there is no extra menu option here for sites. And that's because the initial site that's created is the default site. So when I go into settings and I want to create sites initially, I'll have to go into settings and click add a site here and add a site. So I am simply going to name these site 010203 so that you can distinguish between the different sites that I am creating. Now once you add a site, notice that there is an extra drop down menu here for options. And you'll notice the default site that was created initially and also the site that I just created. And once that occurs, what you can do is create another site here and I am simply going to name it 02 and just for the hell of it I am going to create another site 03 then I am going to assign some administrators to that site now you notice here I am managing all the sites by choosing manage all sites here I can manage each individual site also and that is important because when I create a user and I add a user here and I call it site administrator, site admin you'll notice here when I select all sites here it displays all sites and I can actually assign this administrator to all the sites Whereas if I was managing just one of the sites, it will only display one of the administrators. So let me let me finish this off here and demonstrate that. So you'll notice here all at once I can actually ad administer or create a user for all three of these sites. All site admin and assign a password here. Click OK. And once I create, click create here, you notice the all site admin here is shown. And if I go to just a particular site and I click, so now I'm just managing site one and I click on users you'll notice if I click on this and I say new user it doesn't show me anything other than the site that I am administering so if I say site01 admin or this is the username so site01 administrator so that is the difference between managing all the sites and just managing a particular site and keep in mind here I am the server administrator now this the site administrator once you create the site administrator they could actually add users to their own site so if I log in as site administrator for example I'm gonna log out as server administrator and I am gonna log in as the site administrator now You'll notice it doesn't show me a drop down because site 01 administrator can only administer this particular site. And when I click on users and I add user, it only shows me the users that are related to this particular site. And you'll notice here I can create a publisher, interactor, or unlicensed. Unlicensed means that you're basically disabling the user and they can't log in and they're an unlicensed user so that is what that particular role is there 
in case you're confused by the lingo that they're using. So that is that. That's really, uh, in a nutshell, the sites and the site administrators, and also the hierarchy. And keep in mind, the hierarchy is site, which is a container for projects, which is a container for workbooks, which is also a container for the views and the data sources. So there you go. I hope this helps, and thank you for watching. And if you found this helpful, please subscribe. Thank you.